what we have today is a DV4 system that was sent into us. Unlike the previous systems that we've been working with and working on, uh, this system is a AMD with a ATI chipset. Contrary to popular belief, the Toshibas and the Acers that have the ATI chipsets, uh, just like this DV system, do have chipset failures. But unlike the previous HPs, this system displays a different error code system. So we have this one start up and it shows the lights come on just like that. And then the system will actually go to high fans and then will display by the caps lock key, which is here, a blinking light. Now that blinking light that comes on tells us that there is a actual motherboard issue. Whether that motherboard issue is linked to the RAM or that motherboard issue is linked to the actual chipset failure, we won't know until we actually start to diagnose it. But we'll get to working on that here in a minute. So now we've taken this DV4 apart and we can notice that unlike a uh, majority of the systems that we work with, this um, thermal compound is actually not solid. So this processor is actually a different processor. It's actually not the X64, but it is the uh, single core Turion. But this will be the um, shared video ATI chipset. So we're going to reflow this and then uh, test this chip and make sure that the 2 gig stick of memory that came with this actually uh, doesn't have any errors on it. So we'll get to reflowing this here in a minute and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I get a lot of um, emails that ask me what temperature I reflow at and how I do it. Um, especially with these systems being ATIs, I'm kind of delicate with them. So you're looking at 150 degrees is what the uh, preheater plate gets to, and that would be the ceramic portion that's underneath. Um, then you have 200 that comes out of the light, so 200 that comes out of here, and then the distance, uh, if we're going to gauge it, is about you know your hand could be underneath it. So that being said, you know we uh, turn it on. You just basically turn it on like so, and the light turns on, and you make your adjustments, making sure that the light is focused over top of the actual chipset. Now, what this is going to do is, it's going to physically heat the um, chipset to solder underneath it, but not aggressively heat the capacitors that are on top. As an example, uh, you know, you have your CPU here that has the capacitors on top. Now, what you don't want is those to fly off when you're using hot air. And that's a major problem. A lot of people say that off-gassing causes the issues, but the major issue is capacitors being removed and the power not being able to be returned to the uh, chipset hence your motherboard doesn't work so we're gonna let this heat up and do its thing it goes for about two three minutes and then um, we'll take it off and let it cool down for about 30 45 minutes and then we'll put it in the system and see what happens so now after a reflow we're sitting here about to test the system so what we do is we'll turn this on and when we turn it on we see the two lights come on but not the caps lock light nothing's being displayed on the screen so this is a fairly common issue that is uh, 
with the ATI DBI systems or DB systems. What you have happen is now after a reflow you've either got a processor issue or you've got a memory issue. So this is something other that you ought to check. The light not turning on over here signifies that there's not a general motherboard problem but now there's a component level problem because the hesitation should only be for five to ten seconds and then the system should initialize within the backlight so we had no initialization nothing turn on so what we're going to do is we're going to take the processor off and then we'll test it again so now we're going to turn our system on and see if change of the processor is actually what's going to fix it. We have the lights on and we're going to check to see that the screen turns on. Got a backlight and an initialization. Um, looks as if we have an actual screen. F2 takes us to where we need to be. We have a uh, boot up and everything. system has turned off and it's turning back on and it's pretty common with a system that um, you know we have in diagnostics um, don't have heat sinks or anything like that on it but uh, it's pretty common that it works now here's something that we actually use when we do our testing it's called super cold 134 now what this does is it'll actually seize the chipsets and actually seizes the components so you can test and see which ones are bad. Now we did a CQ60 video before and that CQ60 video actually displayed um, an overheating component where we took a thermometer and tested it. Now with the super cold all you have to do is hit that and it seizes the component and if it seizes that component and puts it back into alignment with its normal operating frequency and temperature then what happens is that allows you to actually test it and see which parts are bad and which parts aren't so we actually did that with this board and hit the processor and the processor actually seized back into working so by that happening now we know that we need to change the processor uh, that actual stuff allowed us to do it so that'll be that we need to put it back together and make sure everything works okay so what we have here is our finished laptop after we have sprayed it down and changed the processor after we realized that that was what was wrong and now we're going to check it make sure that all our work is completed and pretty much have a running system so we'll turn the system on see if we get the uh, prompts that we need backlight initialize bio screen cut on so what we're seeing here is a working system pretty common after a reflow is that your system will show uh, Windows needs to recover from a failure uh, it's actually booting up into 7 or Vista whichever one but it appears that the system is actually working so um, we'll just make sure that it goes into Windows and then after that appears the system's done We have a cursor there, scrolling cursor. Now it appears that uh, everything's good to go. That's an actual started system. Uh, it looks like it works.